Hello friends, today we will solve a nice equation which is a square minus b square is equal to 12 where a, b are integers. So we will solve this question for a, b and I will solve this question with two method. In the first method, I will introduce this identity which we know that a square minus b square is equal to a plus b a minus b and in the second method i will solve this question without using identity okay so in the first method i will use this identity which is a square minus b square is equal to a plus b times a minus b so it will become a plus b times a minus b is equal to 12. Here in the left hand side we have the product of two numbers and we will factor out this 12 with the product of two numbers. So here we have 12. So factors of 12 can be 12 times 1, 6 times 2, 4 times 3, 3 times 4, 2 times 6 and 1 times 12. So, if a plus b is equal to 12 and a minus b is equal to 1, then this b and minus b will be cancelled out when we will add these two equations. So, it will become 2a is equal to 13 and a will be equal to 13 divided by 2. So, it will give us to 6.5 which is not an integer that's mean if one value is even and the other one will be odd then it will give us a decimal value which will not be an integer so it's mean this factor will be cancelled out similarly this 4 and 3 will also be cancelled out. 3 and 4 will also be cancelled out. And 1 and 12 will also be cancelled out. Because it will not give us integer values of A and B. So that means we have two factors. 6 and 2 and 2 and 6. So first of all I will take A plus B as 6 and a minus b as 2 when we will add these two equation it will be cancel out and this will be 2a and it will be 8 now to find the value of a dividing 2 on both sides this 2 and 2 will be cancel out and the value of a will be 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4 which is an integer now we will substitute this value of 4 in any one of this equation and get the value of b and i will substitute here it will be 4 plus b is equal to 6 so that's mean b is equal to 6 minus 4 and the value of b will be equal to 2 okay so here we have a b is equal to 4 and 2 now we'll take this factor which is 2 and 6 so it will be a plus b is equal to 2 and a minus b will be equal to 6 Similarly, this b and b will be cancelled out. It will be 2a is equal to 8. And a will be equal to 4. When I will divide 2 on both sides. The values of a is same in both cases. But the value of b will not be same. When I will substitute this value here. 4 plus b is equal to 2. So b will be equal to 2 minus 4 and the value of b is equal to minus 2. So in this case ab is equal to 4 and minus 2. That's mean ab is equal to 4 and plus minus 2. Okay. So these are positive factors of 12 but 12 can be minus 6 times minus 2 and minus 2 times minus 6 because we will not take these factors which have one factor is odd so i will take these two factors here okay 
That's mean a plus b will be equal to minus 6 and a minus b will be minus 2. a plus b is equal to minus 6 and a minus b is equal to minus 2. So it will give us 2a is equal to minus 8 dividing 2 on both sides. So a will be so a will be equal to minus 4. When I will substitute this value of a uh, in this or this equation, so it will give us minus 4 plus b is equal to minus 6 and b will be equal to minus 2. Similarly, when I will take this factor minus 2 and minus 6, it will give us value of a is equal to minus 4 and the value of b will be equal to 2. So in this case we have also the value of a are same and the value of b are different. Okay so these are the values of a b which are 4 plus minus 2 and from here it will be minus 4 plus minus 2. So it was our first method. Now I will solve this question with another method without using identity. As the given equation is a square minus b square is equal to 12. Okay. If we don't introduce here identity, so how can we solve this equation? So, in this method, I will substitute a is equal to b plus k. I will make a substitution. When I will take a is equal to b plus k, then it will become b plus k and its whole square minus b square is equal to 12. Now, it is in the form of a plus b whole square, so it will become b square plus 2bk plus k square minus b square is equal to 12. So this b square and minus b square will be cancelled out from here. And from these two terms we have k is common. So it will become 2b plus k is equal to 12. Now left hand side is the product of two numbers. Similarly we will take factors of 12. But if I will. Okay. So it can be 1 or 12. 2 or 6, 3 and 4, 4 and 3, 6 and 2 and 12 and 1. When I will take k is equal to 1. If k is equal to 1 then this 2b will always be e1. So when I will substitute here e1 plus odd it will give us odd. So that means this factor will not work here. When I will take k is equal to 2, it is even and it is also even when so it will be 2. It is an even number. When I will add and other e1 number so it will give us an e1 number that's mean this factor will work here similarly when I will substitute k is equal to 3 so it will give us an odd number but this is not an odd number so it's mean it will not work same case as I told in previous method it will uh, both factor which are even will work and if any one of the factor will be odd it will not work that's mean it will also not work it will also not work okay when i will substitute k is equal to 2 so if k is equal to 2 then 2b plus k which is which will be equal to 6 when I will substitute k is equal to 2 here, so it will be 2b plus 2 is equal to 6 and 2b will be equal to 6 minus 2. So from here 2b will be equal to 4, dividing 2 on both sides, 2, 2, 2 and 2 will be cancelled out and the value of b is equal to 2. 
and we know that a is equal to b plus k so the value of a will be 2 plus k is also 2 a will be equal to 4 okay similarly when i will take this factor in this factor we have k is equal to 6 and 2b plus k will be equal to 2. So it will be 2b plus k 6 is equal to 2. 2b will be equal to 2 minus 6. And 2b will be equal to minus 4. b will be equal to minus 4 divided by 2. It will be cancelled out and the value of b will be equal to minus 2. When b is equal to minus 2, a will be equal to b plus k. When I will substitute b minus 2 plus k is 6. So a will be equal to 4. Now you can see that here we have also 4 is same in both cases. And the b will be plus minus 2. Similarly, when we will take negative factors minus 1 minus 12 minus 2 minus 6 minus 3 minus 4 same case we will take only those factor which are both even so it may it's mean we will take minus 2 and minus 6 minus 6 and minus 2 and we will solve this question with these two factor it will give us same factors which will be minus 4 plus minus 2 Thanks for watching. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye.